Hey guys, this is George from Georgia and Apple, and on this video I'm going to be showing you um, a complete overview of the of the Worldwide Developer Conference of 2009 um, from today, March 17, and it starts off um, with the devel the developer section. So on the developer section, um, the new thing announced was the new SDK. So um, there's now a new software development kit and it now has a thousand new APIs. So some APIs uh, are included on it are um, in-app purchase, which allows you to buy, um, if you're for example in a magazine app, it, it allows you to buy subscriptions or new magazines inside of the app instead of going to the app store and buying um, separate things. If you're on a game application, you can buy separate levels instead of going to the app and, uh, to the app store and buying um, different um, apps. And um, all of this is done via your iTunes account, so it's very secure and it's over Wi-Fi. Um, another feature was peer-to-peer, -peer, which allows you to game um, with two iPhones together or iPod Touch um, over Bluetooth and um, that both of the cell phone, both of the iPhones and, and, and iPod Touch um, they automatically um, discover each other so for example um, one iPhone discovers any other iPhone or iPod Touch that's playing or has the, uh, the same app open and there's no pairing needed so once you quit the app the connection disconnects um, a new API was app for accessories so for example if you have a nice speaker system you bought from from I don't know whatever, whatever it is um, and it has special support for the iPhone um, maybe that company um, develops a new application which would be like a, on this case an equalizer or something like that and when you insert your iPhone it automatically opens up and then you can um, change the levels of the tunes and everything um, if you have a radio or a FM transmitter, you know, you hook it up to the dock or via Bluetooth. And on your iPhone, if there's an app for that, um, you can change the station or whatever you want. And then, for example, another uh, example they mentioned was blood pressure. If you have one of those blood pressure things that um, captures your blood pressure, um, you can hook it up to the dock or wirelessly and it would record a history of all of your blood pressure during um, a certain time. A new API was Maps, which now um, third-party apps can have Maps imb embedded on the app in itself. So for example, um, the concierge app, um, it can have the location of different wine um, galleries or whatever you buy them or whatever it is. And there's also support for churn by churn apps, um, sort of like GPS. Another API are, is push notifications. And um, it was announced last year, but it was never re um, realized. So now this year they're actually going to release it. And it's all going to go, for example, via the third party's servers. Um, if you have an instant, me instant messenger client, um, somebody sends you a message, it goes to the third party server, the server uploads it to the Apple server, and then the Apple server, which is always connected to your iPhone, um, sends you a badge, which can be either a badge with a number, an audio um, sound, or a text message. And what's nice about it is that it won't drain your battery or reduce your CPU um, um, speed. And some other um, APIs that I'm not going to go very deep through um, are in-app email, um, proximity sensor, iPod li library access, stream audio and video, shake API, and then game boards. And then on the consumer, on the, yeah, on the consumer's side, um, on whoever owns an iPhone and wants to use new features, um, there's a very nice feature now um, called cut, copy and paste, which um, everybody has been expect, expecting for some time. 
and um, basically you just double tap on a word and you can resize and just by, with your both fingers sort of like on a map you go like that um, pinching and you can select the text or whatever you want and it also has support for Safari um, so you can copy HTML text and you can um, copy that or cut that and what's nice about it is that when you quit the app it will still be saved so you can go from notes copy something in notes and then go back to mail and paste that and it will still be um, working and another feature was um, uh, multi photo mail support so for example on your, on mail before you can only send one picture now you can copy various pictures from fo iPhone uh, photo I mean and just copy them and paste them on mail and a feature that it has including copy cut and paste is that you can shake the iPhone to undo the paste you just did and um, a new feature is landscape, landscape support for almost every native app on the iPhone. So for example, um, before you can do this on Safari only, now you can do it on notes, um, mail, um, text messages, whatever. Um, and it also allows you to use the big, ski, uh, the big keyboard with, um, that we all like. Um, a new feature, multimedia messages, that supports photos, audio, locations, and contacts. So that's very nice. Um, everybody has been wanting that for a long time. A new app that will actually be on the home screen is Voice Memos. And um, you'll be able to record, record anything you want, and you'll be able to send that uh, on a multimedia message also. Um, the calendar. Um, Last year it got support with Exchange and Mobile Me, and this year it's gonna get um, support with Cal, DAV, um, and subscriptions. So you'll be able to subscribe to new um, episodes of TV series you're watching or um, holidays or whatever you want. The Stocks app, which many of us never use, um, now has a new feature called News Headlines which on the bottom of the stacks uh, on the stocks I mean um, it will be it will have important news headlines so that's very nice to have um, and a new feature which is pretty nice but nobody expected it is Spotlight on the iPhone so um, if you have a Mac you know what Spotlight is um, the magnifying glass now on the iPhone on the home screen you'll be able to go um, to the left like that and um, or actually like that and um, you'll see uh, you know you see dots for every page you have on the iPhone you'll see a magnifying glass and you'll be able to search whatever you want so um, oh and um, Spotlight um, has support for every app on your iPhone including third party apps and some of the, the other new features um, that were announced are note synchronization, shake to, so, shake to shuffle, auto Wi-Fi login, um, stereo Bluetooth, anti-phishing, autofill, uh, parental controls, uh, more language support, and YouTube accounts um, to, so you'll be able to subscribe and everything. Um, so that's a complete overview of the Worldwide Developer Conference. 2009. Um, basically, it was the new iPhone OS and the new SDK. Um, the iPhone OS will be free for first and second generation iPhones, but it will be ten dollars for iPod um, Touch first and second generations. Um, the developer beta is now released, um, but I don't know when the official. Um, software is going to be out and that's about it for the overview of the worldwide developer conference i hope you guys like this and remember to comment and subscribe to this video to my channel and follow me on twitter um my name is george from george on apple that's my channel i do mac videos and guides to and tutorials so that's about it thank you for watching guys and goodbye